in the last videos, I went over the basic elements of Scratch and how you can create sprites. Today, we will learn about Backdraw. The Backdraw is an image that can be shown on the stage. We can add many backdrops to our program. Let's get started to explore some backdrops. Log in to Scratch. And then in the home page. Click create at the top of the screen. Let us start by creating a new project. This will take you to the new project screen. Give your project a name by typing it in the field up here. Scratch will then automatically save your project with the, with the new title. You can see here on the right side corner a default white backdrop selected for the stage right now. To create a background, click on the plus button here and on the bar that comes up you will see four different options to create a new background. You can do one of the four things. Search for a backdrop in the library, make your own drop backdrop in the paint option, get any back random backdrop from the surprise option and upload your own picture as a backdrop. Let's look at the first option. Click on the search option and you will see a lot of backdrop options to select from the sprite library. They are also organized by groups and you can also search for one by name. Let's find something fun for our scratch cat. Let's get this one. Wow! Look at that! I like it! Now let's try another option to paint your, our own backdrop. This will, this will take us to the backdrops tab. Give it a proper name. Remember, it is always important to name properly so you can refer to them in your code. Hmm, what should we name it? I think sky is good. Let's just me let me just make a simple one. Let's first draw a rectangle. And color our outer backdrop blue. Let me add some clouds too. You can see some more options here. You can use like draw a circle, lines, or color to change the thickness of the lines and even flip horizontally or vertically. Now if we go back to the code, we can see our cat in the sky. The third way to add a background is by clicking on the surprise option. This will give us any random background from the library. Let's see what we get today. That is perfect for our spot cat. And the last and my favorite option is for you to upload your own backdrop. When you click on this, it will open a window for you to select an image from your computer. I already downloaded a Pokemon image from the internet and I will select it. There we go! Our cat just entered the Pokemon world! So, we created backdrops using all four options. Let me show you something more. If you want to go to the backdrops, just click on the backdrops. In the stage area, we will take us to the backdrop tab. 
You can click on any backdrop to edit. You can delete any backdrop you don't want by clicking on the delete icon. You can also right click on a backdrop and click duplicate. This will copy the same backdrop and we can edit it to make it look different. Hmm. Now that we have four different backdrops, how do we switch between these different backdrops? So, the secret is in using an event to switch from one backdrop to another. Go to the code area and go to events and drag a when green flag click event to the code area. When we start, we want to show the first backdrop. So go to looks block and drag this switch backdrop to option and select the first backdrop forest. Let's try it. Nice! Our cat's in the forest. Then you can make the cat wait in the forest for a few seconds and go fly in the sky. How do you do that? Let's drag, let's drag the wait block from the controls here. Change to wait for two seconds. Then go back to looks and drag switch backdrop to block. Let's change the option to sky. Let, let us try it out. Oh, oh, there it is. Nice. Let's do the same for the next backdrop. Put the weight again. And then grab the switch backdrop to Pokemon 1. Let's try it out. Nice. Our cat has explored the forest and the sky and finally lands up in the Pokemon world. <laughs> so, we need to grab the same blocks or we can just do another way. It's much easier. Go to the control box, grab a, re a repeat block or a forever block. And then... Put it inside the loop. Let's try it out. Let's hope it, wo hope it works. Let's do three. Okay. There it is. It's working. Let's review. We looked at what a backdrop is, what are all the different options to create a backdrop, how we can edit, and delete the backdrops and we finally wrote a script to make us switch between all the backdrops. Alright friends, I will get back with the next video on program time. Until then, keep exploring